Welcome back. This February, we've had a lot of snow and a lot of ice, and that means we've dumped a lot of salt on our roads, sidewalks, and porches. But all of that salt has an impact on us and our environment. The question is, do we have an alternative that could be better? Our Grant Herms went looking for some solutions to salt, and he found one right here in Metro Detroit. Any Michigander worth their salt knows when winter weather hits, it's time to break out, well, the salt. Every year, cities and counties across the state use hundreds of thousands of tons of rock and road salt, spreading it across hundreds of miles of highways, roads, and sidewalks. But all that salt wreaks havoc on our cars, our clothes, and our pets. That's Blakely, our five-year-old rescue. When she rings the bell, it's time for a walk. But in the winter, it also means having to walk through mounds of road salt that hurts her paws. She saw that salt on the sidewalk there. She tries to dodge it most of the time. She slows way down, and sometimes it's so bad on her paws that she has to limp home. And when we're back, that means the long process of cleaning and reprotecting. Okay, you're done. Neither of us like it. That same salt is also harming the environment, turning the Great Lakes state's largest sources of fresh water salty. A new study from the University of Wisconsin and Michigan State took a look at just that. What they found was all the salt we use has been raising the salt levels in Lake Michigan dramatically since 1800. And the effects are worse for Michigan's inland lakes and ponds, where water flow is minimal, turning fresh water to salt water changing the chemistry of habitats and in some places making oxygen dead zones where it's just too salty for most plants and animals to survive. There are alternatives to traditional rock salt, the state already exploring using brine or salt water in a few small places, but where it's really being tested is in Oakland County, which has the largest system of roads in the state overseen by Craig Bryson. There's a huge aquifer under southeast Michigan of, of liquid brine and it's, you know, it's like sticking a straw down into it and just pulling it out. That's just literally naturally occurring. The county has three wells where they tap into that underground reservoir. Well, initially we started using it only for gravel roads and then we did some research and found that it could be used for winter maintenance as well. Did some experimenting and found out it worked very well and allowed us to reduce the amount of salt we're actually using. Uh, so it's good for the environment as well. So that was uh, what led us into this. Brine is mixed with regular road salt to activate it right away, meaning they use less salt. Less salt means less harm on the environment. In 2019, a study from St. Louis University found using brine meant 45% less salt runoff into lakes and rivers. Less salt also means less money spent to get roads safe to drive. Essentially, the brine is free to us other than the, you know, the cost of the electricity to pump it out of the ground and the staff time to, to uh, truck it down here and put it in the trucks. But other than that, it's free. We've actually reduced it by probably about 20,000 tons of salt a year. We went from an average of about 83,000 tons a year down to about 63,000 tons a year. So if it's cheaper, makes the salt we already have go further and is good for the environment, why isn't everyone using it? The answer is it's an extra cost, and most cities and counties don't want to experiment with the right blend of brine and salt when it comes to making sure roads are safe. The brine and the salt are, you know, the critical things that help to keep the roads safe, and it's always a question of balancing human life over the environment and the cost, and human life has to be the top priority in all those equations. Now the state sets aside about $25 million for salt each year. That's about 450,000 tons, and they think that they can save more money by using this brine in more places. When it comes to Metro Detroit counties, both Wayne and Macomb also dabble in this brine as well. In Oakland County, Grant Herms, Local 4.